Good evening, the, the Carrick fan here. Right, so back with another video, some more Manchester United to be right. So some big, 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 big breakers of the last six, six minutes or so. And Fabrizio Romano has said those three lovely words. Here we go. Anthony, to Manchester United is a done deal, agreement in principle. He'll sign a five-year deal with a, uh, for an option for, for the further year. So basically, it's a six-year deal, 2027 until... June 2027 until June 2028. He'll sign his contract tomorrow, according to Fabrizio Romano. Good. I, I want. I wanted this done before um, the at the VT um transfer window, which closes Wednesday. <sighs> Look, yes, we've overpaid. Do I do I give a rats? No. It's late in the window, and we needed the right winger. Who's complaining? Yes, we should have got Anthony early in the window, admittedly. But as I say, better late than never. So yeah, um, let's say Anthony joins tomorrow, or. We all know what United are like. We'll probably drag this up to deadline day, and uh, because, um, you know, that's what United are like nowadays. They'll be like, "Here's Ansu for you, but you can't play against Leicester on Sunday uh, on Thursday." Well done, but here's what I think will happen. Let's say the medicals tomorrow. He signs his contract tomorrow. United will drag it out till Tuesday. We all know what United are like. Then Ansu will be through the door hopefully soon as well. So yeah. I will admit, I'm not going to lie, I've never seen him play, but am I, excited, am I excited about the signing? Yes, because because it's something different. He's a Joga Benito. Oh, what the fuck's it called? Jo jo Joga Benito played like a flare. It's a street flare play kind of thing. That, I think that's what they see in Brazil. But but from what I've seen of him, the clips me I had on, on, on YouTube and all that, I'm impressed, very impressed. People... I've heard people compare him to Nicholas Pepe for goodness sake. <sighs> yeah, let 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 let's write off a new signing but before you see we walk through the, through the door, shall we? Oh, and rather fancy. Ha <laughs> ha! Look, United overpay for uh, for Anthony. And I'd be like, Liverpool overpay for Darwin Nunes. Man City overpaid for for Jack Grealish. Do you see their fans complaining? No, and neither should we. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. But but the mantra is always glazes out. It's always glazes out. But you can always be happy with, with a new signing when it comes, or arrives even. So when do I expect this to happen? Well, Fabrizio Romano said um, Anthony will sign his contract tomorrow. But like I said, we all know what United are like. We like to drag things out, don't we? We take four bloody months just to prepare a bloody bed. <sighs> Thankfully, we won't we won't be doing that crap um, ne ne next week because we've got to get th things done quickly, don't we? United. Oh God! I wish I wish United were all crazy at times, but anyway, I'm glad that the sack is over done with. Respect to Ajax, but there's some there's some stuff that I d <sighs> excuse me. There's some things that that I don't like that that that, that, that I don't. I do apologise. <laughs> I mean, we were the goalposts for, for one regarding the feet and their manager being an idiot. He said, "Was was it Friday?" I think I mentioned this. Oh, would Dante be be madness um to to swap uh, this Champions League group for, for the Europa League? And the manager said, "Absolutely, do one. Be respectful towards United, please." I mean, Eric Tenag's been very respectful towards um Ajax as a, as have I to be honest. But like I said, there's one or two things that that, that I've not that I don't like uh, about this saga. But anyway, it's over and done with now. Hopefully, but yeah, all the, all the best to Ajax and. Yeah, I I was thinking about this, about this before I go. I was thinking I do wonder fancies had to work with Daily Blend. I'm just saying. Think think about it. Daily Blend play play for us. Um, between 2014 and 2017, or was it 20? Oh, bugger! I can't remember the year he left. I think it's 2017. And um, I do wonder fancy if if fancies asked Daily Blend. Oh, what? What what's my night like? Is it a good club to join? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm but I'm sure he's had those conversations already. Maybe with Ed with Adesar as well for for the former Manchester United legendary goalkeeper and of course Eric Tenag. So yeah, um, if it before I go, I, I'll stop now. But but seriously, but um, let's say Anthony joins tomorrow. Do I think he'll play against Leicester? Um, no, because he's barely played for Ajax this season because. Obviously, the um his protected move to Manchester United, and yeah, I'm happy. We, well, I, 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 as as a United fan, I've had a good weekend. We won, and we get an Anthony.
and hopefully, uh, right. So the Anthony the striker. striker. I would like, I would like another two to three more to come in. But you know what, United you know, like it'd probably be Anthony the and That's it. But hopefully, um, thinking about Jake, Eric Eric Tenaga will be pressure pressuring the board. You gotta get me second midfielder because because Frankie Young staying at Barcelona. Well done, lads. Twat. But anyway, right. So so yeah, you can subscribe to our channel. Okay, like, comment, below, like the video. Take care. Adios. Glazers out.